Alright, how's it going everyone? So today we're going to make a stew. We had a whole young chicken that we had in the freezer for God knows how long. I actually got this on sale for like two or three bucks. So we're going to put that in the crock pot and make a stew out of it. So I got a little like beat up. So basically we got some carrots, celery, uh, we got some onions somewhere around here. We ain't putting all these onions in. We just to put maybe one or two in. Uh, and we should have a bag of potatoes right here. So all that's the prep. Basically, my wife had to uh, go get dressed real quick. So she'll be out to help. It's like opening up that like here. Yeah, nobody wants to see my wife's boobs. Well, some people probably do, but and chicken's still a little bit frozen, but that should be all right. Did we bring the, the potatoes in? Yeah, they're right up here. Alright, well first thing you want to do if you have a chicken, pull this bag out with all the good stuff in it. Which it's still a little bit frozen, so uh, lukewarm water will help release it. There you go, that's all the nasty good stuff. Give it a good wash down. We're just trying to get some of that extra ice that was inside out. That way, cooks better. But basically, when uh, you put this in the crock pot and it cooks, hopefully all this chicken will just kind of fall off the bones. So that goes right in. Wash our hands one more time. This stuff out of my way. We don't cook the heart or anything, so we're just gonna throw that away. There you go. Wash my hands yet again. Alright, now we're gonna peel some potatoes. Just like tore the bag open like that. Maybe it's a little here for now. Our kitchen's so small. Yeah, our kitchen's very small, so we deal with what we got. So hopefully you guys can see everything. Want the light on or are you good? Oh, yeah, we're good. We got plenty of light. My little plants growing. Alright, can you find me the Miller? Yeah. Need this out too. Let's cut the celery. Yeah, and if you find another one, you can do carrots. This should have been clean. I did the dishes this morning. I'm just going to stick it right up there. Alright, so basically we're just getting prep all together right now, and soon we'll be cooking. Unless we got rid of it, I have no, no idea. We're just chilling here. Alright, well, we'll bring you guys back once we get situated. Alright, so we moved you guys to the other side, that way you can see both of us. Actually, I washed it. But me and my wife like to do different cooking videos just to give us something to do. We don't do them that often because this whole quarantine stuff had us all messed up. 
but some good foods we made while uh, we didn't record it was uh, baked ziti and what else? Um, shells. Oh yeah, we made some homemade shells. That that was very good, and uh, <sighs> different pastas and stuff like that. We need stuffed cabbage. I mean meatloaf. Well, I don't eat meatloaf, so everybody else had that except me. All right, I guess we'll stick it right into the sink because they all gotta be washed. Make sure you get the ends too. get all these peeled and then bring you guys back oh uh, hopefully they take all my stuff yeah they, they need to take down all the branches I cut all right so we got everything peeled and all set up to be all chopped up I give these a quick rinse down Basically with stews, uh, what my dad always told me, large chunks are better. You don't need to cut it like real neat or anything, just chop it up. Because it, it get, yeah, hi. Gets all cooked and it all gets soft and people like, like the large chunks. If my dad was still alive, I would definitely do a lot of videos with my dad because my dad was the cook of the house. Same with Britt's family. If we still live there, I would probably be hanging out with her dad because her dad cooked a lot. But they also ordered a lot of fast food. But, Britt, tell them about your pregnancy. Let everybody know how you're doing because a lot of people will watch this. Uh, it's going good. I'm halfway there almost. Next week will be 20 weeks. And okay. I'll be excited about that because then we get to go to doctors and I get a better ultrasound. Yeah, it's your baby. Other than that, it's pretty good. Really haven't. I don't know. Got a little belly now and that's about it. You said uh, you don't get sick or anything. Um, what is it? Um, Any complications that you know of? Let's just say I don't feel pregnant. And I feel like a normal person. But I'm pregnant. You definitely look pregnant. A little bit. Just a little. But. Who's yelling? I'm not ginger. Oh. Alright, well. Basically, we get all the potatoes cut up and we'll save that one. You can grab the GoPro. So, once we have them cut up, you just bring them over, throw them right in. The bigger potatoes, I like to keep them towards the bottom. I think one I believe fell. your battery might die. Yeah, one fell. Battery gonna die soon? Uh, it's not blinking yet, so it should be all right. Now we're just gonna chop up the carrots real quick. What did I do with the knife right there? No. Danny and I are having a boy, if anyone didn't watch that video. Yeah. Highly excited about that. Be funny, next week we'll go to the doctors and they say it's a girl. Oh, that, that, so that would be so messed up because we bought all like these boy clothes and everything. I know. So hopefully that does not happen, but it's not uncommon. 
Yeah, because we only found out from the blood work. Alright, so after this we still got celery to put in and an onion. Alright, so we'll be right back. See, this is my little hungry helper. Right, girl? Oh, so she gave us like a little meow when I touched her. But basically I'm going to try to use all the celery on one uh, thing. They were actually kind of big, so... Stew's going to have a lot of celery in it. But we don't mind that. We're just going to waste all the tops. And we usually cut the bottoms off, so that goes away. Usually when I don't have a lot of celery, I'll use this bit right at the top. It's kind of small, but now we're just going to get rid of that. Alright, we're trying to plant one of the carrot ends, that way we can see if anything grows. Yeah, I'm making a garden. I got a sunflower that started to grow, but I killed it. I have tomatoes growing right now, and we have garlic. And I just found something else that's growing. I gotta find out what it is. Alright, well go show me your garden while I'm chopping this up. Well, well the garden is indoor garden right now. Sorry y'all see my face. Alright, so I planted my garden inside. I did seeds. These are garlic. Like, I have to replant them outside soon. We just planted that uh, end of the carrot right there. Uh, I got tomatoes growing. I kind of killed them yesterday because I put the box outside with the lid on and it got too hot, but I think they might still be okay. I have another tomato growing on the side but I don't know a uh, tomato growing there and then I just planted these yesterday so there's nothing growing in this box yet um but we have garlic something here my friend gave me I don't think I have anything here I don't know I got something growing here um, these are, I know I'm like lost, I should have wrote them all down. These are tomatoes. These are supposed to be onions, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, and sunflowers. I don't know. But we'll see what grows. Hopefully something grows in my box. But, alright, let's go back to Jan. Snowflake. Pretty girl. Alright, what did you do? Started cutting. I was trying to cut them all neat, but then I just said to hell with it and start cutting bigger chunks. Like, I was starting with slices like this size, but then I was like, ah, the heck with it. <laughs> so now just literally chopping. Yeah, they said you could do a, you can plant celery too, and you can plant uh, potatoes also, like something with like, I don't know, the potato, but I don't have any more room for any of my garden stuff right now. Alright, we'll be back. Yep. Alright, so that's how the stew's looking so far. Uh, one onion or two, Britt? All right, so we got two smaller onions. They're kind of smaller compared to the huge ones in here. But that's how it looks so far. We still didn't put this in, and it's on low right now. But let me get this onion started. I'm always happy to show people how to cut the onions. All right. Basically, you cut it right in half. this extra stuff just kind of falls right off. Yeah, hi, baby. What? I don't got nothing for you. She's 
she knows not to jump on the counter but she does that for my mom and my wife sometimes which I get annoyed about haven't done it in a while yeah it's pretty good not much in the it's cold out. Alright, sometimes this comes off easier, sometimes it does not. Toy. Mm, she's a weirdo. But me and Britt are still hoping to get a dog soon. Uh, ever since my mom came back, that kind of got put on hold due to the fact that she has her dog. The little shit. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. The little Mancher Dotson that's. Yeah, something else. It's a yappy dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's giving me so many problems. Wait, is that a little old? I don't know. Not that old. For your garden, you can cut this part off and you plant that too. I don't know. Yeah, we're trying to be farmers. Yeah, we're not unlike Dave, but. Dave was like, this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's not how you're supposed to garden. Alright, so finally got that all set up. So basically, we're going to hold it, make some lines. Wait, I'm doing this totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Alright, so one onion's going to be diced. The onions just, they literally have to be uh, just cut. I don't know why I diced the onion. It's a stew. It doesn't need to be diced. Mm -hmm. Show them how to cut it. I know. I'm so happy I learned this online. Yeah, I still don't. I still, I'm like, yep, that's not how I cut it. His looks, yours looks so much better than my cutting. Yeah. So that's how you basically dice an onion. Then you just move it apart with your fingers. You're not. It's not like candy onions. Uh, uh, oh, candy. she ate it. No, that's the that's the onions shell. It, She's like, it makes it, noise. You can't. It makes noise. Ah, this gonna be noise. Here, kitty. Snowflake. No, I still need that. Oh yeah. Uh, think, why you want the onion? Go get it. We don't need that onion. <laughs> like, maybe. Oh, All right. No. <laughs> so I'll put these in, and then uh, we'll cut the other ones. Oh, I made you sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> she didn't like that. Is that her back's all twitching? Yeah. Oh, she ate it. Oh, she ate That's how I always cut it. That's why I didn't know why I was actually dicing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my eyes are watering like crazy. They said if you wash the onion after you cut it in half, it will be less potent and not mess with your eyes, but you're also washing away the flavor. Uh, it like stings your eyes. All right. Uh. <laughs> uh. No, he's just crying because he's so happy I'm home today and I'm off work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to convince her to uh, take off of work tomorrow. No, I'm going to work tomorrow. No. Nope. I'm going to work. Do you want your other gift? No, because last time I didn't get my gift till my day off that day. So? I still told you what it was. I was like, okay, so I what's could... my gift? 
You gotta take off no, first. No, I'm not coming out tomorrow. She needs to use up these days anyway before paternity leaves, so. Uh. Alright, see that one came off very easy, so that's how they normally come off. Do, do, do. And then of course this one would give me problems. I think I made the cat tired. She's not hyper now. That was because she showed off for the video enough. Mm -hmm. She was like, eh, alright. Nobody wants to play with me, so I'll just go. Well, she ate like five times today. <laughs> Our cat loves to eat. Too bored. Aren't we all, Brit? Aren't we all? We're all bored in the house. For a couple more weeks, I hope. Yeah. Eh, put that one back. I don't think we're going to use that. Can you not lay, please? No, no, she wants to be right in our way now. She likes to lay under your feet, and then when you walk and you step on her, she, you don't really step on her, and then she like does this big meow like you're like hurting her, but you're not. It's dramatic. Alright. So that's how it looks. Still got to put the chicken broth in, but see? She makes like this big dramatic meow. <laughs> another one uh yeah but hold that that way i can just show them how pouring it in yeah why it's not done working because <laughs> yeah i don't recommend using your teeth but sometimes you have to of course it didn't open that either well the box is kind of like maybe uh. you know you get it everywhere what? We gotta make it interesting. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. yeah, we may need a half of one. I think it's in the cabinet on the bottom shelf. Uh, what is it? Chicken. Chicken. I think they're on the bottom. Or on, t or on one of the shelves. Uh, right here. So we stock up on different things like this when we go to BJ's. Oh, that splattered everywhere. Plus the broth always makes for a good stew. And we like to have it like right above the chicken or the meat we're cooking. So if you come closer, you can see it on the side. Yep. Basically we'll just put that on high and it should be done by dinner time. Uh, we ain't even done a set of timer. Because we're home. Yeah. All right, where's the lid? Behind you. Oh, so that was the lid. All right, so I want to clean this, but. All right, well, thank you everyone for watching. We got some cleanup to do, and then we'll bring you guys back when it's all ready. All right, so I totally forgot about the video, but start pulling the chicken off. Basically, you just get a fork and just fork it a little bit like pull the meat apart literally it just falls right off the bone that's the breast right there where you get most of the meat. Yeah, be careful not to touch the stuff inside. It's actually still hot. All right, well, basically that's our stew. Uh, we literally just had lunch. It's only 3 o'clock right now, so. What time we put this in? About 11? Like 11.08. So 11, 12, so 4 hours it took to cook. That That's not bad at all. We had it on high, too. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so I'm also going to continue to pull this all apart. I need to get another fork. And it will be ready for dinner, but we'll just have it on warm then. All right, we'll see everybody at dinner time. Bye. All right, so we're all eating the stew. How was it, Mom? I'm in the middle of eating it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you had a bone? Oh, she just dropped it right back in your soup. Well, how is it? It's good. Okay. Very good. A little hot? Yeah. All right, how about you, Bray? How was it? Well, I'm eating the bread first. Oh, he's trying to get him still. I got you on camera. Oh, hot. Yeah, you get what you want. Like, all the cats want some, the dog wants some, the cat. Come on, blow on me. Don't burn yourself. Good. Yeah, right. She barely tried it. I know my mom at least took a big bites of it, so. Alright, well that's how you guys make chicken well, you didn't try yours yet, so. well, chicken stew, but yeah, I gotta try some once this cools down. And uh we'll catch you guys later. Alright, bye.